Hello and welcome back to Scorpio Tech. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Color Light Plus kit. This particular kit comes with 7 lights but thanks to the modular nature of these lights you can add more later on if you wish. The hexagonal lights are also much smaller in stature than something like the Nanoleaf light panels but they work excellently as a customizable lamp or a gaming setup addition. The price tag for this 7 pack is £78 or $107 which is rather high so let's find out why and if it's worth that amount of money. The first box contains the Color Light Plus unit as well as one light and one connector which I'll showcase shortly. It's also worth noting that like many other smart home lights these only support a 2.4GHz Wi-Fi network so do please keep that in mind. Also from the packaging we can see some further key information such as that the colour lights support Apple HomeKit, Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa, so that should cover most of your smart home needs. One thing I find to be quite confusing is figuring out the difference between the various colour light versions. The Colour Light Plus has a small mic built into the base box which allows the colour lights to react to sounds which obviously would work best with either music or movies. As well as this, the base box has a button for changing the presets, as well as a reset button. This base box also fits into an included base, which I will show you later on in the video. Also included with each light is a connector, and this is how the lights are linked and held together. They simply clip into the back of one light, and then into the section with two ports on the connecting light. And the exact same goes for connecting the colour light to the base box. Once connected to the plus unit you will then be able to have your lights react to music and so on. I'll also show and explain the pairing process and customization options later on in this video. It's also worth noting that these lights don't have to be used as a conventional lamp but they can also be wall mounted thanks to the mounting slots on the back of each light. Or if you didn't want to drill any holes I'm sure you could use something like 3M tape as these lights aren't that heavy at all. I'm not 100% sure how many lights you can have power to a single section but I think it's quite a lot meaning you can create some incredible wall art similar to that with Nanoleaf light panels. Once connected via the USB cable the lights instantly turn on and showcase an array of presets which without pairing can be changed via the button on the Color Light Plus unit. And I've got to be honest, when turned off these lights don't look all that impressive and do even look quite cheap, however when they are turned on, especially in a dimly lit room, these lights look absolutely incredible. Each light has 19 LEDs which are individually customizable via the app, creating endless possibilities, which has got to be one of the biggest pull factors for these lights. As you can see you can easily change the shape without causing any issues with the lighting presets, and that is really where the beauty of the colour lights comes in. If you've had enough of one design, simply change it or add more lights to create a new one. The colour lights can sometimes be a bit fiddly if there are any loose connectors, but once positioned this won't be a problem at all. One issue I did have however was with the length of the USB cable. It is quite short meaning you do need to have a powered USB port nearby which for most people is fine but I did want to use this as a lamp on my bedside table but the cable simply wasn't long enough. However I'm sure there are many ways around this such as a USB extension cable or things like that. So this is the base that comes with the Color Light Plus kit, it's 20cm by 20cm which is quite large but it's understandable when there are so many possibilities for the shape of the Color Lights. The Color Light Plus box then goes into the centre of the base from underneath and holds a stable position there with room for the cable to be neatly placed. Once placed you can simply re-add the rest of the lights with the help of the connectors to form a sort of desk lamp. Obviously if you opt to wall mount then you will still need to use the plus box but without the plastic base. Once you've got everything set up and connected just the way you want it, it's time to set up the app to unlock the full colour light experience. To kick this off you can scan the QR code on the included manual to set up the colour lights with Apple HomeKit. If you don't need to know about Apple HomeKit, please feel free to skip to the next timestamp for the colour light app setup. Thankfully, unlike some smart devices, the setup process was rather painless. The only issue I had was that it took quite some time for the device to properly connect. Once connected though, I was instantly able to access various scenes, assign a location for the lights so that I can use smart commands to control them, as well as adjust the colour and hue of the lights via a great colour wheel and temperature slider. The lights are marketed as having 16 million RGB colours which is fantastic, but some of the colours appear quite weak in broad daylight, however in dark areas the lights honestly look incredible. Next up was to connect the lights to the Colour Light app to allow us to have full control over them. 
The app is available from both the App Store and Google Play Store and once downloaded either make an account or use guest mode and then from the settings panel select add and then color light and then color light plus. After this simply follow the on screen instructions to pair the devices, it was that easy. After completing the pairing process you are immediately greeted with a number of preset scenes which are actually pretty good. If you then swipe to the left then you've got a section of preset colours to choose from that allow brightness, hue and saturation adjustments on them as well. From here you can also create your very own presets by using the in-app editor to adjust any of the 19 LEDs on each of the lights. Overall I really like these colour lights and think they would look perfect for any gaming setup as they can be easily adjusted and added to which allows you to be unique. I think the price is quite high but that is somewhat justified by the amount of features that these lights have. I personally think the lights are more suited to be wall mounted but that is just down to preference. They are quite thick especially when compared to nano leaves but for most people this also isn't going to be an issue. So now let's take a look at the music syncing feature that is available with the Color Light Plus unit. This feature has two available options, the first of which is audio syncing via the device microphone and the second being via the Color Light Plus microphone sensor itself. This first test is using the mobile microphone and for the most part it worked really well, it just has a slight delay in the light reaction time. And the second option is the Color Light mic sensor which can also be accessed from the button in the bottom right of the Color Light app. There is a wide variety of settings here in regards to how the lights react which is great to see but I did find that the microphone wasn't all that sensitive, but when the phone was placed against the sensor the lights worked fantastically. I'd like to say a big thank you to BZ Future for sending out this colour light kit, make sure to go and check out their website and product pages down in the description below. As always I'd love for you to come and join my discord server so please see the top link in the description and I really hope to see you there. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one, goodbye.